Hello everybody and welcome back to Monster Train. Our first episode was a brilliant success. We actually had an incredibly good run where we beat the first boss. Well, the last boss of the first Covenant rank with relative ease, to be honest. That was a, a really, really smashing run. Um, I have since beaten Covenant 1 um, away from YouTube, just on my own, playing on my own. Which was very, very difficult, but I had a very good run. I really do wish I was recording at the time. But we'll move back to Covenant 1. I'll play as if we haven't logged anything. Unfortunately, you can't have multiple save files in this game, at least not that I know of yet. So what we'll do is, we are going to play as if we've unlocked what we would have unlocked by now. The only thing that's going to be different is the cards that we've unlocked. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the Awoken as our main class and the Hellhorned as our... Um, Supporting class, so basically the uh, the polar opposite of what we had before with Covenant um, Rank 1, which is what we're going to be playing on now. We are not going to be winning very many runs. Um, enemies are stronger and adds an additional random starter cards to your deck. So basically we start off with, I think it's five cards that are just picked at random. Um, I think you get four from your main class and one from your, um, your allied clan. So let's try this out and see how this goes. Hopefully we can beat Covenant 1 in... A relatively timely manner here. It won't take us too long, but we'll see. So it seems that already we have a very decent spike-based build. We'll have a look at our little boss here. So the final boss um, will temper with the strength of our units. Um, friendly units enter with sap. So basically, when we first enter combat, we are going to be very weak, which again means the spikes are very, very good for us. So this is this is a good start. This is a good start. Uh, so let's have a little look. Um, we have a 50% chance to swap the front and back enemies when they enter the train. See, that's interesting because that's going to mean it's a lot, lot, lot easier for us to... Um, for us to strike out the more annoying enemies that will spawn in the back line but i do believe we have torches we have torches so that's not a problem so actually i think merchant costs are reduced by 25 percent as a starting artifact is very very good and we'll have a look what we get here and honestly we're going for spike damage let's build on top of that and just play the spike base build that is going to be one of the main things of this clan the awoken clan you're going to get a lot of spike based things so we if we can sort of build onto that spike base build that's going to be really good enemy units enter with spike three basically on attack we are going to take ourselves a little bit of damage um so let's have a little look here this guy starts with 25 armor this guy starts with only one health do we have Mm. I I don't think you may notice I have some gold border cards that's because of some of the wins that I've had uh, I personally don't think we have the strength right now to withstand spikes 3 because that's cause the thing is you, you gotta think that that means that our welder helpers are gonna die upon attacking which isn't a terrible thing because they only deal one damage but it isn't great either considering we have these enhanced sharpened cards which would actually be pretty nice to add on to these guys um, although we'll most likely just do our sentinel with it. Uh, we'll see though. I don't think that's going to be the right choice. With our cheaper shops, we shouldn't need the additional coin anyways. Um, and let's see how this goes. So this first guy, um, he's we're going to be taking... Do you know what? We're in a good position here. So we play you, and then we play this to buff our damage. This means that this unit actually gains the ability to deal damage, which this unit did not have before. This unit did dealt zero, so... That's the big thing about the Sentinel, uh, Sentient, sorry, I call it Sentinel before, didn't I? The Sentient Champion for the Awoken class. It doesn't actually deal any damage, it's all about applying effects, really. Um, but the, I think the, the, the thing we do here is we go with the spike damage here. Of course, this guy doesn't attack, which does cause issue, because... Our main form of attack is spike, but I think I think the main way we do this here is we use torch and get rid of you. And unfortunately, we just leave you to uh, to ascend and hopefully take you out with um, with some stewards. So, hmm, this is actually kind of a difficult puzzle to work out here. It is. It's a difficult puzzle to work out. We're we're a little bit behind the curve here, so it would be nice to take out you. Um, if we put up two stewards, we're going to be dealing 10 damage. 
which will still leave him with 12 HP. Um, and we don't really have any cards that can help out after that. But he deals zero damage, so I don't actually care if he makes it to the pyre room, honestly. In fact, I don't think I care at all if he makes it to the pyre room, because he can't deal any damage to our pyre. So, I think we do this, we get our money. 50 gold. Um, we place... We place a welder helper behind to buff you up a little bit. And we place... Do we have any other units? We could go with another Welder Helper. But the good thing is about Welder Helpers, because they have their ability trigger, trigger on summon, uh, they give 15 armor on summon, we can actually kill those with um, with a torch to get rid of the spot to place another unit in there. So that's actually a really nice little bit we can do there. But we'll, we'll do that. And then we have zero left. We're not going to be dealing much damage to you, but I think that'll be okay. So one thing that's going to be really good for this build is any challenge that adds multi-strike. Um, let's think about this. So, Pyre Shards. Can we apply that to our to our Pyre? Just wondering because of the name. Um, so 5, 5, and 2 is going to be 12. So... 12, 14. The maximum damage we can do to this unit is 14, even if everything gets placed, including the Pyre Shards. So I think we'll just go with Pyre Shards on you, because it just makes sense, buffing up your uh, spikes as high as we can. Um, and we just, we, we do the sensible play. We play both of you up here, and we just leave that be. You're going to have six health left, but this guy deals no damage, so that's fine. He's probably going to deal two, but... To be honest, we could torch him to stop that. But I don't, honestly, if we kill the boss in this turn, which we are killing the boss in this turn, I don't think that matters. I think with our two sharpens as well, we're either going to want to be reducing their cost or we're going to be wanting to uh, opt for an extra bit of ember, which is probably going to be the best idea. So, it doesn't actually matter, but we'll do this. Just to make sure you don't die. I know we've already got the wind locked down anyways, but there you go. And that's our first boss done. Covenant one ain't so hard. And let's see what our first uh, our first drafts are. So Glimmer is a really good card for um for clearing out backline enemies. So I think we're gonna go with Glimmer. I think Glimmer's gonna be a good call. And then we can get another welder helper. We can apply rage, or we could move a unit to the front and apply 10 armor. Now I'm wondering, can you use that on a unit that isn't already in the front? Because that would be interesting. I think, honestly, right now we should just take the extra Welder Helper and try and build up a, a very, very strong unit with a lot of spikes. And in that vein, I think we should definitely be going for um, Enhanced Spells. We could get an Awoken unit. I think we're better off taking upgraded spells right now, especially considering they're going to be cheaper. Um, so, reduce the cost of this. Uh, gain permafrost. Permafrost basically means if we don't use the card, we get to use it again elsewhere. I really don't think that applies to any of these cards right now. Do you know what? No, I'll apply it to Glimmer. I'll apply it to Glimmer. And we'll just reroll. Gain holdover. Uh, so this is basically the same thing. If we use it, we get it back again next turn. Honestly, I think holdover on sharpen could be incredible. Uh, let's let's try that out, shall we? Uh, and then we can gain plus ten magical power. Yeah, honestly, that's it. Seems like a bit of a, a bit of a weird one to go for, but I think we spend all of our money, put it all into that. Glimmer is now going to be basically what we use to destroy backline enemies and because it's got frozen we can hold it over until we need it um, and then having hold over uh, with sharpen basically means if we play it we get it back next turn meaning we could get into a situation where we apply a lot of spikes a lot and a lot of spikes and i think this is already a good start especially considering the boss and we, we need to be looking at these because if we have any of these that say um applies multi-strike we actually probably want to go for it uh so we'd gain an additional 75 coins 
for units to summon with one HP and one damage on every floor. Now I'm wondering, can we can we deal with that? I think we can. I think we can. I think that's a challenge we can we can take on. We don't have a lot of units, which does make it harder. But if anything, all we're really going to be doing here is taking some pyre damage, which I'm not that bothered about. Uh, we're going to take four because they're going to lose one rage stack. So we're we're going to be taking four. Um, unfortunately, we didn't we didn't roll what I wanted to roll here, but that's fine. Um, taking four, eight, twelve, twelve pyre damage. It's not good, but it's not terrible either. Um, so I think I think the play here is we go with you, then we buff you up with this. Although, do we even need to yet? No, I don't believe we do. And then we play you here. We place you. And I think we place that as well. And I think that puts us in a decent position for taking these guys out. And then it would be nice to play the next world of helper, but we're not going to get opportunity to do that. Okay. So. This is a difficult. This is this is a little puzzle solving game here. So this guy's going to sacrifice. I mean, they're both going to sacrifice themselves for this. Um. I'm trying to think, is there a way in which he lives? So what damage are we dealing here? 3, 6, 9, 12. And that's 8. And we could just place another train steward to, to sort of get in the way. And that would stop... Yeah, that would stop the front two from dying. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. Uh, then I believe we buff you up. And we go for that as well. We could go for the uh, the shards. I think this is a better play though. Okay, we want to be use we want to be using our holdover card every turn if possible. So, yeah, we took we took one pyro damage. I really don't think that's that much of an issue at all. Um, so, again, I think we play another train steward here. Um, wait. You're taking 14 damage. You've got 30 HP. You're going to be taking 4 damage back, 9 for a hit, and then 1 from you. So if you instead take plus 4, that'd be 14. Yeah, this'll, this'll do it. This'll do it. Then we get a kill there, and we're creating kind of a mega steward right now, which isn't really what I intended to do, but I think it's working. Um, and now with the final wave, we can get rid of both of the backline defenses. Um, hmm. I think I think Glimmer makes sense because we're getting the healing, and we're getting the damage, and that's a lot of damage. Uh, and then. Doing extra damage and spikes, how is that going to increase us here? Yeah, I think we do this, and then I think we apply that there, and there you go. That does it. Nice one. Okay, little bit, put a little bit of extra thought into it, and we've uh, we've come out with something nice here. And I think this is quite a nice spikes build. Honestly, I haven't really had a, a good spikes build in in a while on this game, so it's really nice to build one up. Um, honestly, I th I think I think we just play with sharpen. I, I think we just take another sharpen. Um, and... Ooh, okay. This is difficult. Because applying three rage isn't really that useful. Having more imps is not a good idea, in my opinion. I think we skip. I think we just take the money and we skip. I don't think we need imps in our deck. And I think apply three rage just isn't important enough. Uh, now, we could... Okay. So, the... The chance of us getting a spike-based Awoken unit is pretty decent. I would very much like to upgrade my other Sharpens to be similar to my, um... To my Holdover Sharpen, though. Because we haven't upgraded either of our other two, which I think... 
takes precedent. We would heal one Pyre. Um, although here we could get some unit upgrades. Although the only units we have to upgrade really are these Welder Helpers. I think we just stack it on with spells. So we'll go for this first. Make sure there's nothing crazy in this that we're getting. Um... Hmm. I'm going to take that. I think we can make that work. If we if we upgrade it at some point, even just plus 10 magical power on that would be would be very very good. So let's let's have a look what we've got here. Um upgrade a spell to remove consume and add a cost. I think first of all we've got to upgrade that. That's that that's a no-brainer because that's that's a backline damage dealer that also gives us money. Um Remove spell cost. Let's remove it on one of these as well. This is interesting, but I, I don't I don't like it. I don't think it's going to work for us. Hold over. So that means we now have two cards that hold over and enhance with spikes. And we're also going to get this one down as well. This is getting this is getting good. And I'm actually going to upgrade that again. Okay, this is getting good. Now, the main problem we have right now is our units are pretty bad. The only real star of the show is our actual, our actual boss, and whatever you'd call him, the uh, the champion. He's our real, our real star of the show. But I think, I think we can get something going on here. So let's let's take a brief look. This is a really bad first draw. We can't do much with this first draw, to be honest. Um. So, I think we do this. Oh, he's got damage shield. Ah, I didn't notice that. Okay. Sadly, sadly, I think we're going to have to set up on floor two. I didn't want to have to do this, but it makes the most sense right now. And then let's just play that into that. That was that was a real shame there. I just I just wasted that, uh, that money we could have got there. Uh, so... Glimmer's probably a pretty good idea here because it's going to get rid of that healer. This guy's dying anyways to the damage he's dealing with. This one isn't. Um, I think the play here is we Glimmer. We Weld a Helper. We Torch this guy. And I think that's going to put us in an okay position. We might take a little bit of Pyre damage here, but it really won't much. Okay. Okay. I think we have a I think we have a very nice build right now. Okay. That bomb needs to go. Um Interesting. So I think for right now, we apply that, apply that, and apply that. That is that is incanting him for a lot, but it's leaving him with it's leaving him with one HP. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We're gonna take a lot of damage there, but fine he's left with one hp that's fine we need to we need to be aware of incants like that's not that's not good for us um honestly how much how much damage are you dealing six we can slap a train steward up there this is kind of nutty this is kind of nutty you're gonna take some damage again we can get welder helpers back in here though so i really don't care and you are at five health as well, which means that this guy should take care of you, I think. Nah, probably not. Uh, okay, so you're taking six damage. Mm. See, if we if we spell here, that's going to up his damage by one. Oh, but it's going to up our damage by so much. Um... This might be an incorrect decision, but I have to do this. It makes... Yeah, we, kill, we killed all of them. We're only taking t tiny, tiny bits more damage. You two, yeah. You, well, you especially. You can make it. I don't care. You're going to deal so little damage to my pyre. It really doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me at all. And this is our final wave. Um, so... Do we get another Welder Helper, or do we just stack this, like, fat? No, we, we take another Welder Helper, because the more the more hits we can take, the better. Look at it. It's got 36 attack. It had zero to start with. 
And it's got 50 spikes. It's nutty. Absolutely nutty. Um, it's still not killing him, though, which is surprising. Um, I don't even add that much damage each. Uh... Okay, so I think the play is we get this guy up here. Uh, I, I I genuinely think we're going to take some pyre damage here. Surprising, but we are. If we were set up on floor one, we'd be better off. If we can get the ability to ascend and descend units, that'd be really good. So now we make sure that you can take a hit. And we buff you up as much as we can. It's enough. It's enough. It's not much. But it'll mean we only take 18 pyre damage. It's more than I was wanting to take in that situation. But honestly, it did okay. So... I think... I think that's just too good not to take. Oh, Demon Fiend's so good. Uh, yeah, let's go with Demon Fiend. And then... So we're able to play Demon Fiend. Let's take this. We, 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 we used Demon Fiend last time, didn't we? As you guys know, he's very, very powerful. We could duplicate a card. Hmm. Interesting. So we, we do kind of need the Pyre health. And we do need to get rid of some units. But I think the play is grab the coins. Grab this. We'll grab you, and then we duplicate, even though it's only a basic, we duplicate the Demon Fiend, and we up your spikes. Yeah, okay. Duplicating the Demon Fiend, this just gives us a frontline tank. Now, we of course, we want our main main um, champion to be the one getting hit. Uh, units restore all health when moving between floors. No, thank you. Don't want to deal with that. Having to kill every every floor sounds horrible. Uh, so I think we do put you there and put you there. Ah, oh, that doesn't quite kill him. It's fine though. This is going to be like a mega floor. Now we can't buff her up with damage anymore. But go remember, we have that restore all. Um... You do 10 damage. Well, this is just like the most money you'll ever make from one kill. <laughs> so I have to die. I feel like I have to do that. Um, you're taking a bit of a beating. I think we place you down here. And we tank the damage with you. Oh, wait. Did, did I did I buff him? I encanted him, I think. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can deal with him. We can deal with him. He's only got four damage anyways. Our pyre health isn't great, but it's not terrible either. Um, so... You need spikes. We haven't really stacked spikes up on you yet, and that's... A, that, that's a bad. That's a big bad. Uh, and then I think we place you back here. Buff you up as a damage shield for, for our boy here. And we just place a train so you had to kill you off. Honestly. We could even just play another one just to fill out that floor. We're going to need our rejuvenation for this guy. Definitely. I can't remember if it's a consume. I don't think it is. We'll probably get it this turn. Yeah, we did. Um, restore all units to full HP. So, Glimmer. Do we need Glimmer right now? Glimmer. Why is this... Why are you only taking 5 damage? Oh, because you're restoring 10. So, let's... Let's Glimmer this floor. You're dead. Hmm... 
he is taking five. So if we... If we just buff you up, you're going to die, yeah. This guy's still going to die, but who cares about him? Um, and we might as well use our heal on this floor. I know it's going to incant him, but honestly, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, and let's just restore and regen this guy to make sure he lives. And I think that's honestly a decent play. Keeping as much units alive as we can and setting up for a decent floor. The only problem we have now is we have another demon fiend in our deck and nowhere to put him. Uh, so we're going to want to make room for him somehow at some point. So we're probably going to want to let this guy die. Uh, I think right now, though, we just, of course, just keep buffing this guy up with as much as we can. And yeah, let's just leave it at that. I, th I think this is a decent build. Final wave. Everything's dead. Good. We play both of those on you. I always like trying to make a way where we can get him to live. Even though we don't need to, I always like doing it. You haven't got an incant ability, do you? Triggers after a, after dealing a killing blow. Ah, we couldn't get him to live. It's fine. It's fine. Still, I think I think if we can get Demon Fiend and this guy on the same floor, that's going to be very powerful for us. Lots of gold, lots of gold. Um, and descend a unit and restore 10 health is incredible. If we can get that buffed up, that'd be great. Um, return a random consumed. We only really have one consumed card, don't we? We only have one consumed card, so I don't care about that. I honestly think we skip. I don't think we need any of those. Imps are just... If you don't build imp to start with, they're just weird to add into your deck later on. Uh, forge units. As much as I'd like to forge this and make this better, I think... Oh, this is, this is really difficult. Because we've got a lot of units that need forging. No, do you know, I was going to say, but we need to purge. But we've got enough money to purge. Let's do this. Gain an artifact. Um, let's go for the pyre health. Buff our pyre up and make it a lot stronger. Multi-strike is so good. Uh, Multi-strike plus rage 7 on this guy is just absolutely ludicrous. Uh, also... Getting 25 extra HP on you is really, really nice. Then we'll reroll. Endless means if they die, we get them back. Having an endless, one endless welder, I think, could be very useful. Uh, adding extra damage. We don't want HP on you. Yeah, let's just, let's just add that onto you. And then let's just make a, a bit of a beefier demon fiend. And then let's start purging some cards we don't need. So let's get rid of two train stewards. And I think we'll get rid of... I know it's expensive, but I think we'll get rid of one torch as well. Because the thing is, the train stewards can still be good. They can still be useful. The torches, however, with, with the other things we have in our deck, aren't the best right now. So let's let's leave that at that. I think that's a decent a decent start there. I'm a little, I'm a little worried. Uh, spell shield. How much spell damage are we dealing in general? Right, let's let's just have a look what units we've got here. Um, harvest gain ten triggers when a unit on this floor dies. Um, you've got. Oh, you're the one that's got harvest. You've got um. Gives extra damage when he dies to all enemies. Um, honestly, we have enough. We have enough means to get money right now. As it is, I think we're okay. Not going with a spell shield. It's unfortunate to see that we rolled the wrong demon fiend on turn one here. Because I'd really like to get our uh, multi-strike demon fiend down here. But having the tankier one isn't a bad thing. Um, let's push you up front. Push you behind. That's fine. It's not It's not the ideal turn out. I'm really hoping that we get demon fiend number two here. Of course we didn't. Um, 
right. So, I think we go that on you, that on you. Ah, I really want to use, how much gold are we getting from you? 75. I really want to use Glimmer to get rid of these two. Nah, we'll, 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 we'll use it here. I'm going to place you down. Heck it, we might as well restore on this floor as well. It's only 9 HP, but it keeps him keeps him going. It'll come back around. Now, having having this guy survive is not good. Okay, so... Big boy's coming in. Genuinely, I think we want the other guy up front. I didn't think this through. I'm not going to lie. Because now I can't kill this guy, and he is going to deal pie damage. And I am taking significant damage from these two. But, we now have a very beefy floor, with a caveat. With a very important little little detail. We can descend a unit at some point, which is now, um, and make the first floor just, just insane. So I think I'm going to actually do that now. And while that does leave you in a situation where you're going to survive... I just don't care. <laughs> um, so you're dealing 15 damage. You're healing for 10. Okay, because you're going to die and you're going to heal for 10. I see, I see. So... This is a this is a difficult scenario here. I, I don't really care because you, you are going to make it up and you're going to deal some damage. You're you're getting pretty tanky though. So do I try and deal the extra twenty two damage to you and make your death go more swiftly, or do I try and take the easy money that I get from the twenty two? The easy money is definitely more fun. Let's go for the easy money. Heck it. Let's go for the easy money. Uh, let's keep buffing you up. And sadly, we'll let him get on his merry way. Okay, a brief respite is very nice. Um, see, I could descend a unit here, but I, I, I don't think I want to. I think I want to make this guy really, really buff. Um... With with our welder helpers. And... Should we apply some spikes to him as well? Heck it, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna get past and deal a bunch of damage to my pyre, I know. 15, yeah, 15 damage. Eh, it's, it's fine. Final wave, you're dead. You're just dead. I maybe should have put more effort into uh, into taking that guy out then. Than I did into stacking this floor up. I really don't think there's much I could have done though, so I'm not that I'm not that bothered to be honest. Right, cool. Yeah, <laughs> your multi strike. <gasps> Lol. He just committed suicide. Does four damage on a multi strike and takes thirty six back. Okay, beautiful. Of course, there's gonna be some major mistakes I make during all of this, but. That happens. Um, consume, draw a unit, and enhance it is pretty nice, honestly. Uh, but also, apply rooted is really good too. Let's go with apply rooted. And double the armor on a unit. Oh. Sacrifice an imp is also really nice. Uh,. We have to have an imp up for that to work, though. Do you know what? We'll try that out, because we can, we can place an imp and break even with an extra draw. So I think I think that's genuinely okay. Uh, buff up our units again, remove, get some pyre health, and get a trinket. I think that's probably going to be the better option here. Uh, let's do that. Let's remove... Restore. And honestly, I'm going to remove another restore. We're just not using them. 
And let's have a look. When a friendly unit is healed, don't need that. Uh, when a when you play a spell, spells in that hand cost cost less are reduced for the rest of the turn. When a card is consumed, I don't really like any of those. Free roll. Gain plus one stacks of spikes each time it is applied. That seems pretty decent. It's not actually that good because we're always applying four, so it's not giving us that much extra spikes, but plus one spikes is plus one spikes. Um, now allies will scourge cards from your hand and deck. That doesn't sound good. Okay, so luckily this is an enemy that you just need a lot of damage for. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. We did not roll good here at all. Um, uh, okay, that gets 21 spike to start as well. You're only dealing 7 damage. That's not bad. Uh, I'm really struggling on what to do here. I genuinely think the play for right now is just do that, do that, and get rid of that. It's not it's not a cool play. It's not an interesting play. Honestly, I might as well play you there as well. But I think that's I think that's the best we're gonna get for right now. Um Big Boy Demon Fiend getting down there. It's really nice. We're really not going to get anything else out of this. Let's just heal you up for seven, I guess. Not super interesting, but big demon fiend is big. He is he is the strongest of boys. Um, where to the front friendly unit? If we apply, if we put him in front, does he? Hmm. Still, let's put him there. Let's glimmer. Yeah, glimmer. And then just do that. It's the smart play. I wanna I wanna get more spikes built up, but I, I don't think it's worth it for uh losing that much damage. So we can do that to get rid of you. <laughs> we got him straight back. That's actually a really cool play. Uh so we can play you down again. Play this one down. Oh, this guy's getting stacked. Uh, place you there. I really maybe should sp separate the spikes between these two for the last wave. I don't think we need to particularly. Uh, and then we shall go here. Might as well apply some restoration to you to take less damage. And there you go. That, that floor's going to be kind of fun to play with. That second floor. I'm, I'm, I'm interested by what we can do with that. We can do some really weird stuff. Uh, so, we can get our money kill here. I'm trying to think, is there anything we need to do here? Is there anything we need to do here? Genuinely think we get our money player, because it's just, it's easy, it's easy takings. Uh, we can deal with you on another turn, so I think we just do that. Actually, no, we can we can do this, can't we? Let's root you to make sure you don't move. And then let's purge that. That's a pretty good turn, in my opinion. And we're also dealing damage to the boss here, which is nice. Getting him a little bit weakened early is useful. Uh so if we if we do this again, wait a minute. So if we sacrifice you, do we get you back? Oh, we always get you back. That's insane. That's so, so, so good. Um, and then we glimmer for the heal. We cut you for money. Oh, this is, this is spicy. We have a cool build here. We have a really cool build here. And in doing that, we gave some extra boss damage as well. I'm a, I'm a like in this. Okay. Uh. I want to play my next Demon Fiend, 
because he's just beefy. Now, I, I have to play my next Demon Fiend. We'll take five pyre damage, but I genuinely think we have to play him. He's too, he's too influential on, on our damage to not play him for five damage. Like, we might just... Okay, yeah, good. I was going to say, we might just end up killing him there, but we won't. Right, uh, so... We... We play you here. Wait, do we? Do we play you here? We really should be buffing this guy up with thorns. We really should. We haven't been, and we should be. So we put you there. Yes, we put you there. And then we descend you. And then we just do that to get plus one draw next turn. And there you go. Okay, I think that's good. This, these guys are going to take some damage, but I think I think it's fine. I think we've done enough damage here to, for this, these guys to finish him off. More than enough, yeah. Uh, so we glimmer. We might as well glimmer. We definitely get rid of that. And we add spikes to you. <laughs> Adding five spikes to this one guy kills him without anyone else taking damage. That's insane. So we we have to apply spikes to that guy considering how much he can get hit. Even just one one usage of spikes makes this guy so much more influential on the boss. Giving him five spikes is is genuinely quite insane. And there you go. That's another boss taken down. Um Enhance a unit with plus 10 HP and spikes plus 5. Apply quick. Apply quick is really good. We'll take apply quick. And what do we want here? Do we want the extra energy? Do we want the extra space? I'm trying to think of which one would be my most beneficial. Because extra space would mean that we could have a demon fiend, a rail beater, and a slot for a, a, re, a reusable... A reusable um, welder helper. Giving us the ability to have more usage. Genuinely, I think this one's going to be best. I always... Uh, so I think that's probably one of my, my most difficult decisions whenever I play a run. Okay, I think... I think this is too much of an obvious choice here. We have some spells I'd love to upgrade. But in doing this, we get money... We get Pyre Health, which is just fantastic for us right now. And we can get another Demon Fiend, which is just insanely good. Or we could get another... I'm tied between actually getting an Endless Welder Helper and getting another Demon Fiend. I think the Demon Fiend is too strong to say no to. This is very much turning into the same run as last time, but... Genuinely don't care. <laughs> I will do whatever it takes to win. Um, no, we've got we've got some very, very different elements at play here. Although I have to say that some of the things going on are very, very similar. Uh, we're not taking that challenge. I don't want five spikes in return here. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So we're starting off with one of our good demon fiends, which is great. Um, so I think we play... Oh, no. This is... This is actually kind of difficult. I think... I think we hold off on our Demon Fiend, genuinely, and I think we... I think we play you, obviously. I think we get rid of that to, to massively reduce the damage we're taking, and we hold off on our Demon Fiend. We get this guy set up here, because this guy is just going to live on this floor to eat armor as quick as he possibly can. And yeah, I think... I think that's genuinely going to be a very, very good strategy right now. Um... And then, for right now... Oh, this is difficult. Difficult, difficult, difficult. This is difficult. Um, You're taking 18 damage. Oh, so... You're taking 8 damage. We don't need the money from Petty Theft. Okay, we have a significant issue right now. This enemy... This enemy is a problem. I think we play this Demon Fiend up here. We put Entangled on... On... You? 
rooted, whatever you want to call it. Bye. Bye. We skip out on the money. It's fine. Right. Now, now we got some interesting places. Oh, my God. This is, this is like, so difficult to, to think on right now. You're taking 36 damage here. Nah, we have to do it. We play you in front like that. That kills you. We, I really wish we could apply quick to you this turn. It's making me regret my decision. I really should have taken one extra energy. Thinking about it now, I really should have done that. Would have given us, that would have given us a very, very good, um, good option. Uh, and then we are taking so much damage. We descend you. And then we start up, we start up this. I don't mind him taking so much damage, because at the end of the day, what you've got to remember is we have that full heal that will come around. It hasn't yet, but it will. There it is. There you go. We full heal you for 92. Beautiful. Uh, we... We destroy you. We destroy you. Will this always? Oh, that's such an insane combo. Being able to get so much energy. Playing this guy. Oh, it's beautiful. Right. Uh, it's sad to say we're gonna take some. We're gonna take some heavy pyre damage from these two here. But I genuinely don't think there's anything we can do about it. So I think we might as well get rid of you for the damage reduction there. Um. Yeah. Sadly, our pirate's going to take some hits, but not much we can do. Not as much as I thought it was going to be. That's okay. Right. Yeah, again, I have a, I have a dilemma. I think we, ha we, we absolutely have to play. We absolutely have to play this demon fiend here. The, the problem being, we're not stacking up the spikes that we need to stack up. We need to get those spikes as high as we can. And we're spending all of our resources on getting these demon fiends in. But I think it's 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 a lot of prep, but it's worth it. And, I mean, it doesn't actually matter because this guy's dead. Uh, let's just do that. Yeah. Let's just, just end the turn. He's dead. It's... It's a lot of prep, but I think it, it, it is worth it. And at the end of the day, the spikes are already at 40 on our on our character's base. So that works out. And there you go. We got that one done. Decent amount of money there. Dealing damage to the front enemy equal to 10 times. Oh my god. That could be insane. <laughs> uh, now nah, we'll skip them. Don't need any of them. Now we're at 400. What are we going to be doing here? So we always have the merchant at the end. Do we need to duplicate a unit? Do we really need to duplicate a unit? Duplicate anything to, for, that, for, that, for that matter. Uh, hmm. We don't need to remove cards. So that that's kind of worthless because we don't need to remove cards. We we don't need to forge units. Okay, I, I think it makes so much more sense to go this way. Get the HP. Have a look what the merchant's selling. Conserve energy between turns. Hmm. Okay. Let's let's just check what our spell shop's got in it as base. Permafrost. This is this is so thinking thinking the best way to do this is actually really difficult. So permafrost. Permafrost would be really good on Bramble Lash. Okay, so I think first off we we make Bramble Slash cost less. We re-roll the shop to see what else we get. 
double stack. We could take apply 10 spikes, but that's not a holdover card, so I don't really care. Um, you get to apply so many anyways. Uh, Bramble Lash. Make that free. Or make the Descender unit cheaper. Let's make that free. And we'll back out of the shop. I genuinely think we duplicate this. Then... Conserving between turns is insanely good, but we never have any left. So I think we reroll. Enemies gain minus one to attack. And let's go with that as well. Okay. The plus, the plus seven on our first turn won't always be useful, but there are situations in which it'll be very useful. Um, are you the last boss? Oh, yeah, this is the last boss. Okay. Um, we all enter with Sap 3. That really doesn't hurt us too much because we've got very high damage units and spikes. I think having this extra on the first turn allows us to do a lot more setup than normal, which is brilliant. Um, so, yes, this, this, this allows us to do a lot. In fact, we, 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 draw, we, we drew kind of bad there. So we still go with you up front. We still put you behind. And we put you up on this. I mean, we might as well put you on this floor to get this guy dead. And get some damage on the boss, in fact. And we'll apply that to you. Because why not? Okay. Okay. I'm happy with that. Then we... Do we get our next Demon Fiend on this floor? And set up like that? Or do we get our... Hmm. You... You're taking quite a bit of damage. I think we... I think we prefer... No, we'll... we'll... Oh, this is such a hard choice. I think we prefer to do this. We set you up there. We set you up behind. We ensnare you. And we set, start setting up our spikes and damage on you. Okay. Rage is so good against Sap. We're still dealing crazy damage with this dude. Beautiful. Um... Before I even think about what to do this turn, giving him quick is absolutely ludicrous. I'm going to put some spikes on you, actually, shall I? Yeah, put some spikes on you. <gasps> oh, baby. <laughs> Just deal 460 damage is all. Keep you going. That card is going to be just mental. <laughs> I'll put you there as a damage block, because why not? That that card is going to be our saving grace. Like, our spikes are going to get so much higher. This is, this, is, this is ludicrous. This is actually ludicrous. Uh, let's see what's going on. What's going on? You're taking 23 hits of damage. Tell you what. Let's get your spikes going. Let's put you there. Oh, I can't. I, I, I genuinely think there is a there is a small chance that we can one shot the boss. There is a small chance that we can one shot the boss. Genuinely. Just get rid of you for now. Oh, wait, I didn't realize he did that. 760 damage. Okay. This is, uh, this is going good. This is going good. 
there is there there is there is a potential for some absolute ludicrousy right now. Uh, I'm going to keep him up there because he's dealing with the ones that he sometimes spawns on this floor. I think we keep spiking you up. We don't need the money, although the damage is a thing. Uh, let's just do this, though. And let's just deal the damage to you. Oh, I, I can't. I can't wait for this. I genuinely can't wait for this. This is going to be... This is going to be just the most anything has ever been demolished in a video game, I think. So we'll keep stacking up spikes to, uh, to a mere 100 on you. To a mere 100. Oh, 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 oh my good golly gosh. If we lose this now somehow, I will be, I will be quite baffled. Final wave. Now, we can't, unfortunately, hit him. Oh. That's sad. That's sad. Dealing 1,000 damage and we can't even hit the boss. Oh, that's upsetting. 1,010 damage and we can't... We can't even hit the boss. That's upset. That's genuinely very upsetting. So I think what we do is we play both of these. Wait, no, do we? Do we play the Demon Fiend or do we play both of them on you? How much damage are you dealing a turn? We could actually lose this. Looking at this now, we could actually lose this. I think our best bets, though, we put a bunch of spikes on you. We get rid of you. I'm actually super upset that we're not going to get to do that. That would be insane if we could just, like, hit for a thousand damage on the boss. Alright, you keep going. We should still be fine here. So you're saying there's a chance. So we stack you up a bit more. Hey, we got it. We got it. Beautiful. We didn't get to do the thorns damage that I wanted, but a thousand spell damage is pretty spicy. Pretty spicy. Ah. Beautiful. Covenant one complete. Two wins in a row on the series. Considering I'd only just beaten Covenant one yesterday for the first time, I'm really happy with that. Um... That was that was absolutely beautiful in in so many ways. We've uh, we've mastered some cards, which I don't think does anything apart from make them gold. But happy with it. We also ranked up to get the edge prior healing spells. That's decent. I like that. And a hellhorn leveled up, transcended him when playing. Repeat all summon effects. Ooh, that's cool. Wind streak is up to two. By the way, this sound is beautiful. Oh, listen to them gold cards. Beautiful. My god. So we are making our way up there, and that is that is what I call a pretty amazing win. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. That was absolutely beautiful, and probably one of my best runs I've had yet. Definitely in, in terms of enjoyment, at least. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.